Today on the channel, we got a cool one. The two-pack of the year, possibly. Mr. T, Roddy Piper, Mattel Elite. Welcome, everyone. Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we got a special one. A special unboxing. You guys know I love the Hot Rod. One of my favorite wrestlers of all time. So I got my Hot Rod shirt on for this review. But today, we got the brand new Mattel Elite 2-pack, representing WrestleMania 2, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and of course, B.A. Baracus himself, Mr. T, or Clubber Lang. There's a lot of ways you could go. Uh, but this 2-pack is phenomenal. Looking at the package here, it blew away my expectations. When this was originally announced, I kind of rolled my eyes a little bit. Uh, I was excited. Hey, we're getting some Mr. T. We've got the first Mr. T San Diego uh, Comic-Con exclusive uh, this summer of 2020, of course. Um, but I figured, oh, here comes the floodgates on Mr. T. We got a Masters of the WWE Universe Mr. T. We got a Funko Pop Mr. T with Hulk Hogan. This one was announced. We'll see if we have more. Will we get a WCW Mr. T? Will we get a Mr. T Hall of Fame speech Mr. T talking about his mama? We might get a lot more Mr. T's, and I bet you anything. I don't know any insider info. I bet they signed Mr. T to a year-long contract, and they're cranking out as many as they can in that year. But of all the Mr. T's we could get from Mattel Elites, this is the one I wanted the most. So I was pretty cool. I said, hey, this is going to be a cool two-pack. Okay, really cool. But boy, when they came out with this packaging and the way this one looks in box, uh, I was blown away. I said, holy cow. I love the feel, the nostalgia feel of the packaging. I feel like I'm at my uh, old school local VHS store uh, picking up copies to uh, look at over the weekend. And this looks just almost like a, a old school VHS tape is what this looks like. So Mattel did a fabulous job on the packaging of this one. Uh, the, pic the figures look good from inside. We'll see uh, once we get them open. I almost hate opening this package. I like the packaging on this one so much. I may play a little bit of the long game and get one of these when they're maybe on clearance or a little cheaper down the way. Uh, as you know, when they first come out, they're so expensive, so hard to get. Everybody wants them. Everybody wants to charge an arm and a leg. But, you know, four or five months from now, I might be able to get one of these for 30 bucks if you're lucky. If you play that long game right. And that's what I might do. But let's take a look first at the packaging on this one. I said this packaging is absolutely phenomenal. Look at that. Just look at that. I love that Mr. T comes with a robe. Piper comes with a robe. As you can see, they both come with gloved hands. So we'll get into that when we open them. But we also have uh, regular hands there. So you can choose how you want to display them. Just absolutely awesome. Uh, you could prob I'm guessing these are interchangeable hands. So then you could just change them out to put on other figures. Hey, you want to have uh, Alistair Black versus Buddy Murphy in a boxing match? You can swap those hands on. Uh, I think that is pretty cool. And it goes to say... Some accessory packs from Mattel might not be a bad thing if we could get some stuff like that. Some generic, more generic accessories. But just look at that packaging. I love this like racing stripe down here. That's what brings that 80s feel. That old school WrestleMania vibe. You guys know those early WrestleMania VHS tapes. How they kind of had that cloudy 80s look. I mean it just screamed 1980s. Uh, honestly, WrestleMania 2 was, uh, WrestleMania 3 was the first WrestleMania I remember. I had obviously seen WrestleMania 2 on VHS tapes many a time when I was a kid, but I got into wrestling around the WrestleMania 3 time period. So there you go, you got Mr. T on the bottom, Roddy Piper, uh, displayed in the packaging, awesome. Uh, a little bit of, uh, you know, a scene kind of, it kind of looks like a scene, just not two guys just standing there, so I think that is very strong. Uh, very top of the package, you got that stripe I was talking about again. There's the side. That is an awesome shot of boxing Roddy Piper. I uh, love Roddy Roddy Piper, but he just looks super cool there. And then you got Mr. T on the other side. Cool, but not as cool as Roddy Piper, at least in this match for me. There is the back with the old school tail of the tape. I feel like we're watching you know, ESPN Friday Night Fights or whatever. And there's the tail of the tape between the two. Let's read it. Let's see what it says. WrestleMania 2, Rowdy Roddy Piper, Mr. T. We'll do Piper. Glasgow, Scotland, 230 pounds, 6 foot 2. Mr. T from Chicago, Illinois, 236 pounds, 5 foot 10. The animosity between Mr. T and Rowdy Roddy Piper is legendary. Starting with the first WrestleMania, Hot Rod thought that a ho no Hollywood actor had a place inside of a WWE ring. He had no problem telling anyone who'd listen. Mr. T only ever wanted to be a role model for the kids. You know, you got to be a role model for those kids. And that's what Mr. T wanted to do. 
and thought Piper was nothing more than a loudmouth punk. WrestleMania 2 set the stage where the two superstars would finally settle their differences, going to toe-to-toe -to -toe in a smash-mouth boxing match. So very cool. I love that tale of the tape. I love the little story down below. Uh, there's probably people uh, younger than me that have never seen WrestleMania 2 that want this. Uh, and they want a little history lesson. And that's what it gives. A quick little history lesson. Uh, no spoilers involved, which is good. Uh, so people can go back and check. So there it is. Let's open this guy up. Let's see how cool this is. Like I said, I it pains me to open this up because the packaging is so cool on this. Uh, this would be awesome if Piper was still alive and you get a dual autograph on this one. I'm not a huge autograph guy, but this is something I would like an autograph of. It would be really cool. But not going to happen. All right. Oh, look at that background, too. WrestleMania 2. I mean, that is pretty cool. You can put that background uh, right behind the figures on your display. You can sit that up and put them in front of it. So I may keep that. I probably won't do that. I never do that. But I always like to have the option. See you later, packaging. All right, let's see this. Oh, yeah. Man, this is awesome. I love the plaid pants on Roddy Piper. Uh, the plaid boxing trunks are awesome. A little bit of a black smudge around his belly button, but that's the only imperfection I see. Uh, yeah, look at that plastic prison. There it is. Look at that. How awesome is this pack? I mean, just cool. I will, there's so many WrestleMania moments, old school WrestleMania moments from when I was a kid that I would love to see packs like this. Uh, do a Hulk Hogan King Kong Bundy. A lot of people missed out on that King Kong Bundy. Get a new Bundy out there, a new Hogan. Bam, there's a two pack. Uh, there's so many they could do, as you guys know. See you later. Get these robes out. See you later that way. Get the hands out, of course. And then it uh, looks like these guys are, are locked in. Which I, I respect. I hate it, but I, I hate having to cut them out like this. But I respect the attention to detail from Mattel. Wanting to make sure this moment is captured and everything stays in place. Uh, you know, it would be disappointing if you're an inbox collector. You stumble upon or you get this and it's all, you know, disheveled and not the way you want it in package. Uh, I understand the, the plight of the uh, Mint on Card collector out there. Um, there it is. All right. Got them all out. We'll get Mr. T, maybe. There he is. And there he is. And we got a mess. There it is. See you later. Get your very own See You Later shirt at belowthecolor.com. Hot deals aplenty. Pick it up. Support the channel. Oh, man. I love this head scan on Piper. Brand new Piper head scan. We haven't had a Piper in a while. I'm trying to think the last Roddy Piper figure we got. It might have been... Uh, that Hall of Fame one, maybe, from Target? I can't remember. I am seeing a little paint issue. I see a little green on the kneecap. I see a little black smudge on kind of the inner calf. And then, like I said, there's a little bit on the um, belly button there, some black. Uh, that's a little disappointing for sure. Uh, but, boy, I love this head scan. I love this. Look at this thing. How, how cool is that? I mean, just awesome. I just love the look of it. On the back, you got Piper on the trunks. You got Hot Rod on the front. Let's see, make sure that lines up. It's kind of cool. You got to line it up, though. He's got the WWE logo on there. Hot Rod. And you got a little red smudge on the line on the side. So there's a little quality control issues. You know, I, I hate to point it out, but that's been a consistent issue with Mattel the last few series we've had. I've had paint issues all over the place. Um, obviously not a fan of that. None of us are. We want our figures perfect. Um, so that is pretty disappointing. All right. He's got a little bit of a loose left leg, a little looser than the right. Um, but all in all, still, I'm trying to look past all that stuff, some quality control issues. Uh, that's the nice thing about finding these things in the wild in person. You can uh, look and say, okay, I'm not going to buy this one. The paint's wrong. I couldn't really do that because I got it through the mail, of course. I love this robe on this guy. We'll get some shots of him in the robe. Says hot rod on the back. Very, very solid. That's a great attention to detail there. Um, turn our attention to Mr. T. Um, oh, man. We got some bad paint problems here. Come on. You know, look at this. Right below the knee. He's got some, uh, right below the knee, a little red smudge. So that's disappointing. I don't know if they're just caking these things out too fast or what is causing that or it's just a lack of attention to detail. 
You also have a little bit of stress mark around the elbow. Uh, some stresses in the plastic. That is disappointing as well. Mr. T, at least no issues with Mr. T's face or Piper's face. As they always say, the face is the money maker. Uh, you know, that's what gets me the views on the channel. People want to look at my pretty face, I'm sure. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can these pop off. They do. Okay, perfect. Perfect. This is exactly what I was hoping. So if you don't want to have the boxing gloves on your Mr. T, that's fine. You pop off. He comes with the extra set of hands. Uh, this glove can be used for anybody. It pops off just like a hand. That is awesome. That is great for customizers out there. There's a lot of ways that can go. And then the bracelet comes off that goes around the glove. So 100%. I love that. That is awesome. That is a great attention to detail by uh, Mattel. I'm very excited for that. I think that'll be great for customizers here in the future. Because uh, I think we'll see some other boxing matches. You could put uh, the boxing gloves on Big Show now. As you guys remember, Big Show uh, boxing back in the day against Floyd Mayweather. So there's a lot of ways you can go with the addition of some boxing gloves. And that's why I say I think if Mattel came out with a, an elite bonus pack, almost like Jax used to in the day. Come out with a couple of weird accessories, maybe some new accessories. Throw a few pairs of boxing gloves in there. Maybe uh, some stuff like that. I think you would have a winner of a set. You know, charge 10, 11 bucks for it, and there you go. There you go. You got Mr. T in his robe on the back. So very cool. I'll get a shot of him in his robe as well. But all in all, I like this set. Uh, paint issues aside, uh, hopefully I just got a bad batch. I'd be very curious if some of you guys had opened this. Did you have any paint issues with yours? Did I just get a bad one? Luckily, it's you got to really look for the paint issues on both of these, but they are there at the end of the day. And that is disappointing. Uh, hopefully these robes do not stain the figures as well. That's the other watch out. You guys know that's been kind of a rude gate uh, 2020 and on. That's been a big thing this year. So uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. Let's compare that to the San Diego Comic Con Mr. T. You guys remember this one uh, from earlier in the year. That was our first Mr. T figure. Uh, let's see how it's pretty much the same head it looks like. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing, which I guess I'm not shocked at. It's a way to get more bang for your buck, but there they are together. Pretty much the same exact head. I don't really see a whole lot of difference there. And then just for the heck of it, why not? We'll bring it in. The last incarnation of Roddy Piper in his boxing gloves via Jax. Uh, one of 100, of course. Uh, beautiful figure, especially beautiful for the time. Uh, this came out back in 2005, 15 years ago, was this Roddy Piper with boxing gloves. Uh, not a huge fan of these uh, over these size. These looks like inflatable boxing gloves is what they look like. Um, but I do love this figure. Being a 1 of 100 makes it special. And 15 years ago, this is what was an amazing figure. Still an amazing figure to this day, but this is what uh, you know. 15 years of technology and growth in the toy industry brings us. This Piper is absolutely phenomenal. But this one is special in its own way. So there you go. So there's a little Mr. T, Roddy Piper, WrestleMania 2 boxing, uh, unboxing, boxing, unboxing, if you will. Uh, very cool, very cool, definitely recommend it. I think this is a must-have. This is probably the two-pack of the year. Uh, I know a lot of people like that first China in there, but for my money and where I grew up and who I like, I'd take this one uh, 100 times out of 100 compared to that Triple H China two-pack. Uh, you guys tell me your thoughts on this. Did you pick this up? Are you going to pick it up? Are you playing the long game? Your thoughts on the Piper, Mr. T? Uh, very cool set. Strongly recommended. Just make sure you look really close if you can at your packaging. If you're buying this out at retail or, or something like that. Uh, fan channel, hobby stores. There's hobby stores in my area that sell these. Uh, so if you are, definitely take a peek. And I would recommend that more than ever. Take a peek at your figures. Don't just blindly buy. I'm my own worst enemy at doing that. Um, we've got to make sure you get the perfect figures, especially if you're an opener. So there you have it. Uh, Mr. T, Roddy Piper, Russell Mayer 2. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For Mr. T, for Roddy Piper, I'm Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.